this is a typical Malaysian weather. Um, I think it's a rainy season now. So as you can see, uh, I just left the, the galvanized, uh, one of the galvanized uprights on my garden uh, just to see what happens. Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. Uh, it's me again, uh, Azmir from Zilfi TV. Today is going to be another special episode. Let's call it the garden episode. Um, we're going to assemble the Eleco galvanized half rack, which you see here. As usual, a little bit of backstory on this uh, galvanized half rack. I ordered my unit for the showroom probably three or four months ago and it arrived in Malaysia a month or two ago, uh, I can't really recall. Uh, I wanted to do the uh, the unboxing and also the uh, installation video, but um, Alhamdulillah at that time, <laughs> one customer actually was looking for a half rack and uh, initially he wanted the um, the normal, the regular uh, half rack one in, in black, but uh, he was so uh, smitten by the looks of the uh, galvanized half rack and uh, decided to uh, buy that instead and uh, reluctantly I had to let it go and order a new one so this particular unit that uh, you'll, you'll see uh, just came in last week and uh, I've mentioned in my previous video uh, about it <laughs> and uh, as you can see here the the uh, uprights are now quite muddy and dirty uh, in any case, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I can just wash it off. I think I can just wash it off. I'm going to do everything on my garden, uh, maybe underneath my porch because uh, right now it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, once the sun comes up, it does get a little bit hot and I reckon if I do this by myself, uh, it's probably going to take me about uh, probably an hour or so. So let's get to the unboxing and also the assembling of this um, galvanized half rack. First and foremost, you need um, the right tools to do the job. And um, let me just show you what you need. First, it is best that you can get the um, impact drill. Okay. Next, you need a spanner and it's 24 spanner as you can see and if best is to get a uh, top wrench with a 24 mm adapter okay here we have all the parts for the galvanized half rack and um, let me just go through them one by one uh, over here this is the um, the base um, this is the base plate uh, this connects the base and also the upright and then right here is the dip mod dips module uh, fyi i bought the full version which comes with the dips module and also the safety arms right here is the safety arms yeah, let me just take it out that's the safety arm it looks nice Oh, by the way, the first time that you look at the galvanized uh, parts, you'll be thinking to yourself, this doesn't look like uh, in the pictures, and it doesn't. Um, from the pictures, my impression, the impression that I got was that it looks very shiny. But um, this is not that shiny. Um, it's a bit more matte-ish. You can see a lot of unevenness if I can say that and I'll show you a close-up of this later on okay so this is the safety arms over here we have the nuts and bolts and by the looks of it it's also galvanized there is this one magnetic pin which I believe is for the uh, dips module right at the top is the rib which is uh, used for pull-ups and at the bottom is the beam that connects these two base pieces right here. So those are all the parts I hope <laughs> to make this galvanized half rack. Um, so I'm going to just unbox uh, everything first and, uh, and then get started. Ok, 
Okay, so everything is unboxed and I don't see a manual. I might have left it in the uh, showroom. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can just download it uh, on the website. First, where do I want the rack to face? Um, the sun is from rises from that, from the east, and that's the west. Um, so probably something like here. Actually, I have to do it right there because of the tree. Is this a broken washer or is it like this? You've never seen it before. Oh, they are different. Okay, so in the manual, it doesn't say that there are different types of washers. And it certainly doesn't look like this. Let me just show you. Can you see that? Maybe it's a Swedish thing. Like IKEA. You know how they say that sometimes they just uh, put extra screws just to screw with you. If you see here, that's probably what's causing the bolt not going through. So I probably need to file this out. Now, I'm genuinely confused. There should be only two of these on each side, the base plate. But I have four instead. Why is that? So there are two pieces. One is the, uh, the plate that I'm familiar with. And the other one has, there's no Eleco logo but it has this black uh, like uh, black cellophane tape the black tape is to make sure that <laughs> when you put these two together you can actually see the Eleco right so it aligns so perfectly so that you can see the Eleco like in, in black right and furthermore uh, the other difference that I noticed with this particular base plate is that the logo is right there, right here, right? If you look at the user manual, the versions that I've seen, the Eleco logo is right here and right here. So this is something new. Uh, so I'm assuming both plates go together and then uh, it just this just goes on one side, okay? Another thing that I want to show is that you can see the galvanized paint residue on the logo and uh, you can just scrape this off because it's just like a loose film so you can just scrape it off the customer that I sold the galvanized half rack to uh, complain that the work is a bit shoddy and it's not in line with the uh, quality that the, he expects from uh, Eleco so uh, at that point of time, I actually didn't know what a governor's track looks like. And uh, now that having my own unit right now, I can see what, what he means. And um, obviously, for me, it's not an issue. I don't really care. But uh, for some customers, if you're getting the governor's stuff right, um, this is the type of things that you, you should be expecting. Okay. I hope there are... There's no more surprises. FYI, I've done a lot of this installation. I roughly can expect what's in the packaging, but this totally caught me off guard. And if Eleko is watching, you guys need to update the uh, user, user manual. Even though it's straightforward, but you know, to some customers, um, they might find it a bit odd that it doesn't align with the 
um, stuff that you're getting in the in the whole package. So seeing this broken or warped washer uh, just baffles me. I don't know what it's for. So the next step is to put the uh, upright, this the T upright. Now, preferably, when you want to install something like this, it's better to have someone to help you out. But I don't have that luxury, so I just have to be really careful. Another interesting thing about this upright, it doesn't have any numbers. Oh, I know. It should align with that hole. So, that will tell me which side it should go in. Is that aligned? That is not aligned, so it should be this way. That is even worse. So <laughs> it's supposed to be this way. I'm just gonna tighten this up so that it doesn't sway too much. Because the ground is uneven. This is why it's swaying. So I'm thinking I'm gonna tighten up the bolts now so that it doesn't sway. Lucky me, <laughs> I forgot to charge the battery pack. I think I'm just going to soldier on. Um, I've got some of the bolts already tightened up on that side, so it should be safe. I'm just going to continue on this other side. Oh, I need to cut the tree. Oh, lama. Okay, I've got to move it that side a little bit more. Okay, I've just tightened it up by hand, but it should hold up. Now let's move this thing so that we can fix the uh, rip. Okay. Bismillah, here we go. And uh, I'm going to put this rip, not at the top, um, but slightly lower because number one, um, I, just, I don't want to get ladder. <laughs> I'm too lazy to get the ladder out. So plus, uh, I'm, I'm sure my kids will want to hang from this, uh, this bar right here and uh, they can't reach at the top. Neither can I, so I'm just going to put it somewhere where both of us can, all of us can reach. Ah, interesting. If I do that, the holes won't align. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. <laughs> it's not aligned. <laughs> All right. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, I can do this. Alhamdulillah. Last one, yes. Alhamdulillah. So that's it. Now it's just, it's just a matter of uh, tightening up all the nuts and bolts. Okay, I just charge this uh, hopefully it lasts it will last uh, for the whole job you really need something like this because it makes the work so much easier so what would take probably a few minutes to just tighten up the bolts with this it's just a matter of seconds see how fast that is And just like that, we're done. Okay, let's just finish everything off by putting all the accessories on the galvanized half rack. First, the J-cups. It's too bad that they don't have the numbering. That would have made it much easier to know where to put the uh, J-cups. <laughs> Is that right? It looks right. Next, 
Let's put the safety arms. I'm assuming, let me see, maybe somewhere right here. I don't know whether I've mentioned this before, but the new safety arms does not use any uh, magnetic pins. Um, there is a slight difference in terms of design apart from that with the older version. The older version, um, this part right here is actually wider. I have, I have one customer who says that they prefer the older version one because of the width of this part. Uh, I don't see any difference as long as this thing can handle any weights dropped on it and it's safe. I think that's, that's probably the main concern. Lastly, we have the, uh, I'm going to put it right here. This is the dips module. This thing comes with the new magnetic pin. This is gorgeous. This looks very nice, very solid. One thing I don't like about this is sometimes it takes an effort to just align the holes. Oh, there you go. Now, obviously, you need a very flat surface to uh, put this, this rack. Um, this is not an ideal setup. I just brought this home so that I can put it outside and with, uh, with it exposed to our, our weather. Um, with, with my garden, of course, like I mentioned earlier, uh, this is uneven. So you can see that if I step here, the, the rack is gonna um, wobble. As you saw me doing the dips, it's pretty stable. And it, I don't feel that this thing is wobbling. And I weigh, about 115 if I'm honest so uh, this, is, this thing is pretty simple but obviously if you want to do squats and if you want to do benches this is not ideal so I'm not going to do any bench here um, this video or this setup is for the purpose of just testing the weatherproofness of the galvanized rack and uh, obviously to show you um, a different type of rack uh, in, in my videos. Um, I've done the uh, short, sorry, I've done the light rack, I've done the squat stand. Um, I'm not too sure whether I did the uh, double half rack. Maybe I did, I did the double half rack. So hopefully you've benefited from all my videos. Uh, you can learn a few things or two and understand the equipment that uh, you would probably buy from Eleco and hopefully you do buy from uh, Eleco. They're made pretty well. I'm really happy with this galvanized, plat uh, galvanized uh, half rack. Um, cosmetically, there are a few things which, um, which I've not seen before. Like uh, I mentioned the residue of the, the galvanized paint or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that is not a big issue uh, for me. I think the purpose of getting one of this is either you like the look of it or you want to train outdoors and you want to leave your rack outdoors. Um, you can also obviously use this in, in indoors, but that's up to you. I think it really looks nice. Um, probably if I wipe down the, the rack, it, it will look a bit shinier. But um, in reality, it is matte-ish, it's matte-ish. And uh, the feel of it is also, it's just like when you go to a playground and uh, when you touch the uh, frame of the swings or whatever, that's how it feels like, okay? Uh, just minus the paint job, obviously. Till then, uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you've learned something from it, please do uh, click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please do uh, click the subscribe button, turn on the notifications so that you'll be notified every time we put out a, a new video. And if you have any questions uh, about the Governor Self Rack or anything else uh, about Eleco products, uh, you can just leave your questions in the comment section below. And uh, Again, if you guys know the galvanizing process, please let me know in the comment section as well. If you need to get in touch with me, if you need to get by 
uh, any of the illegal products, especially if you are in Malaysia or even Singapore, uh, my email address is in the description. Uh, until then, uh, I'll see you in the next Zifit TV episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.